objects. Interstellar object 3i Atlas shows sign of non-gravitational acceleration. And what is very, very confusing for scientists is how does this thing accelerate? Comets, if it's a comet, they accelerate by losing mass, but it didn't. It's visible again for us now after it was hiding behind the sun. So I've shown you the first images in my last video. But what does that mean? Is it a spaceship that has an engine that has accelerated it? Guys, we will look at the scientific base of this. We don't want to wear a tinfoil hat. But guys, as astrophysicist Avi Loeb said, if you're going on a blind date, and this is what we're doing with this interstellar object, because it's only the third one that we're observing, and this one is way bigger and way more mysterious. So going on a blind date, what do you do? You observe your blind date. You're trying to find out as much as you can. And he said, that's what we should do with 3i Atlas. Because if this is not just a piece of rock, this has implications for all of us, for our whole planet. This is how crucial this is. So it's accelerating now. We heard it's getting brighter. It's getting bluer. Now it has nine confirmed anomalies that are totally different than the first two interstellar objects and totally different than any other comet that we've ever seen. And this thing here has the size of Manhattan. What is going on, guys? Stay with me. We will look at this interesting interviews and images that I'm going to show you. And I'd be grateful if you could give this video right now an early like and a hype to support my channel. Let's dive into this, guys. You know, it could be a rock. Uh, maybe that's the most likely interpretation, but we should be open minded. We should be humble because it's an opportunity to learn something new. So really, the headlines that we're seeing in the news Comet may contain alien engine. An alien engine. This thing is alien, no question. It's not from our solar system. Even if it's just, just a piece of rock, it's totally different from other comets in our solar system. This is very old and it's coming from very far away. That is out of the question already. And we hear this from seasoned scientists when they say the mysterious interstellar object has unexpectedly started to excessively getting brighter. Let's call it a visitor, whatever that visitor is. It has been racing through our solar system at a blistering velocity. It has reached its closest point to the sun on October 29th. And during that close approach, scientists were surprised to notice that 3A Atlas brightened much faster than they anticipated. Comets commonly form a tail of gas and dust as they approach the sun. We know that because the sun's radiation causes solid ice to sublimate into gas. And that causes material to be stripped off from the comet's surface that then reflects more light. All normal. However, guys, the astronomers were really caught off guard by how quickly 3i Atlas solar observatories, NASA's Solar Terrestrial Relation Observatory, its shortcut STEREO, and the European Space Agency's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory that is called SOHO, as well as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOES-19 weather satellite. We need to rely on these observatories basically as a stopgap measure because Earth-based observatories won't be able to track the object until it reemerges from behind the sun in early December. So the reason for 3A Atlas rapid brightening, which far exceeds comets at similar radial distance, remains unclear, guys. It's a mystery. We have, for example, the Naval Research 
Laboratory, Astrophysicist Karl Batams and the Lowell Observatory postdoctoral fellow Qi Cheng Sang, they wrote in a paper about this rapid brightening. They try to provide us with some theories why it's getting brighter. So for one, it could be the object's immense speed. But the question is, okay, good. Where is that speed coming from? So it's been traveling at a speed of 170, 137 miles per hour, significantly faster than either of the two previously discovered interstellar objects. Could it have something to do with the object's composition itself? They think that oddities in nucleus properties like composition, shape, or structure, which might, which might have been acquired from its host system or over its long interstellar journey, may likewise contribute to the rapid um, brightening. But the third theory is it's artificial. It's an engine. Then I've reported about this. There's another thing. The astronomers also found out that 3i Atlas is this. So many questions remain. And we will have to wait for future observations to shed more light on this matter, hopefully. In addition to all that mystery, there comes the quiet from NASA. And we hear headlines when the silence becomes the story. And it has become the story. Congress now wants it released. They're saying release the damn pictures. So we're already three weeks into this blue light anomaly and maybe their pictures would help explain that. The absence of these data has turned 3i Atlas from a scientific curiosity also into a test of institutional trust. Because despite the government shutdown, people think they could release the images because the images were made in, in basically cooperation with universities that are not in shutdown. So 3i Atlas, the object a size of Manhattan weighing an estimated 33 billion tons, continues to challenge our understanding of what is moving through our solar system. We have this intense blue spectrum and this non-gravitational drift. And for some, and also for me, one of the most surprising elements is not what 3i Atlas is doing, it's what NASA refuses to say or release. So NASA remains silent, but the European uh, spacecraft, it's called JUICE, it prepares to observe the interstellar um, traveler in November this month, potentially breaking the silence that NASA has maintained now for weeks without an explanation. When 3i Atlas approached perihelion, when it was hiding behind the sun, the sun was between Atlas and the Earth. The astronomers noted an unusual intensity of blue light. I have reported about this far brighter than the solar reflected hues that are typically seen in comets within our solar system. But the non-gravitational deviation is something that I really want to talk to you about, guys, because um, that's the latest that is stunning scientists and us as well. So the trajectory data that we have received, they revealed a sideways deviation inconsistent with pure gravitational motion. Boom! <laughs> this is groundbreaking, don't you think? In this case, maybe like, I don't know, <laughs> space breaking. So typically, guys, such shifts in comets are explained by the sublimation of surface ice, jets of gas that slightly alter the path. However, we have calculations released by independent researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory indicate that the observed drift in 3i Atlas exceeds known cometary behavior by several magnitudes. So it's not normal. And we have Avi Lerb that said before it was reaching 
perihelion. He said, this is the moment when it's hidden from sight where it could do something if it was an alien spaceship. This is the moment when it would change trajectory and it could come towards Earth, for example, or it could, while it's staying on its path, release smaller ships or sensors, drones, whatever. And now it has done something else. Guys, I'm not saying the aliens are here. So several magnitudes, that it, that it, how it exceeds everything that's known with normal comets. This raises the possibility, guys, of a non-gravitational force acting on the object. That sounds a little bit scary. So what could that force be? It could be due to extreme outgassing, electromagnetic effects. That all sounds still okay. Or the other possibility, an artificial, an artificial mechanism that mimics thrust. So what's that juice spacecraft with the funny name? So NASA remains silent. They're not saying anything. But JUICE is currently on its way, on an eight-year journey on its way to Jupiter. Hopefully, it's going to become our next observer to give us more insight in 3i Atlas. Because JUICE has high-resolution instruments on board that they maybe could attempt to do a brief imaging session during November, during this month because the probe's position offers a favorable line of sight between Mars and the Sun, so that it maybe has a chance to observe the object. If that would be successful, JUICE would deliver the first deep space imagery of 3i Atlas since NASA's high-rise camera. And the images that were taken on October 2nd were also taken with the high-rise camera, the ones that they, they're not release thing since basically early October. So what the scientists are saying that even a single captured frame could help determine whether the object's blue, blue spectrum and non-gravitational drift are natural phenomena or indicators of technology. Yes, that would be very, very important, don't you think? So there's Public pressure, Congress is putting pressure on NASA, but nothing is coming from NASA. No statement, repeated academic inquiries, right? It's not just us, the general public saying, hey, release the images. No, I mean, this is important. This, is, this could affect the whole world. I mean, Avi Loeb has written open letters to them. Nothing. For over a month, the agency has maintained complete radio silence. While they have released some other information here and there about other topics, so it's not that nobody's there that could release these images, and it's not that hard. They're not giving us any explanation or clarification or any context or explanation about the blue light anomaly or the deviation that was noted. It's very unusual for NASA to do that. That's what we have to say. And that's why I think everyone's so surprised. Normally, we, the new findings, new images, they're displayed, they're making videos, they're making press releases. It all seems very enthusiastic and optimistic and, and they really seem to be quite transparent. I know some of you are saying, don't believe what NASA is saying, whatever, but we're getting very, very high resolution images from NASA of earthquake zones like in Myanmar, even about Campi Flegre, about space. So they're very, very helpful. But now I have to admit too, this silence has evolved into something else. It's more than a communication gap. It's basically, yeah, it's a test of credibility. They're losing their credibility if they're not doing this because, of course, people are starting to wonder, are they hiding anything or are they hiding something? Are they not telling us something? I personally don't believe they're hiding something. I think it's probably really just um, everyone's out of office or the one that is in office doesn't believe they have authority to do that. But again, even if you're out of office, make a phone call, right? 
And of course, people are questioning, are these institutions prepared or prepared to confront phenomena that defy current models of understanding? We're not really prepared for alien visitors, should they ever arrive. So it's interesting. It's absolutely fascinating, guys. I believe sooner or later, whenever that might be, we have to prepare for visitors and we have to have a plan on how to deal with them because many people say chances that they are hostile are high, but you know, you don't want to just shoot something down before you know, because if they are able to come to us before we're able to come to them, means their technology is way better and they probably have surveilled us or surrounded us. So us trying to shoot them down is maybe not the best idea. I don't know. We should really think about that or even think about the possibility that we might encounter more of these interstellar objects while our technologies are getting more precise and more better, that we are able to discover them. I don't think there's only been three interstellar objects. These are only the ones that we have detected, most likely. So I will follow up for you with that. I have a playlist about 3i Atlas where you can find all the information about the nine anomalies and all the background information. If you want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. The link is in the description. Buymeacoffee.com slash silky. Stay safe. Be prepared. Thank you so much for watching. I see you.